Hello everybody, it's Brianne here. Thanks for joining me on my channel, Readings with Brianne. Uh, we're going to jump into some a couple of tarot readings here in regards to what does the universe want you to know. So feel free to pick deck one, two, or three. We're going to get into it. All right, group number one. You guys, this is a really exciting time for you guys. You have amazing oracle and amazing uh, tarot cards here. Um, you guys are going through a really big transformation and you guys are shifting into that new reality or that you're jumping into that timeline that you guys really want to go down. Um, you guys have the five of swords here, that past energy. Um, this can be like you know, that self-sabotage and maybe conflicts with others, but you have the um, chariot in the present right now. So you guys are moving forward. Um, I'm really getting a sense as well if, you know, there might have been, might have been a bit challenging for you guys, but there's been definitely um, kind of cutting the cords there in terms of hanging out with people that aren't serving your highest good highest good or people that are just more negative or you don't really want to you don't want to absorb their energy and be around a bunch of drama and conflict so I feel like you guys are cutting the cords and you are you are barreling down your own path you're focusing on you you're living in the present we've got live now for the oracle here um really beautiful I love this and in the near future, we have the wheel. So you guys are going down that new path and shifting realities here. Now, if we look at just the five of swords here, it's really interesting because it's also clarified with the five of wands. You have double fives. And if we look at number five in terms of numerology and what that represents and symbolizes, this is suggesting a major change on the horizons. And on top of that, you have two major arcanas. And in terms of the clarifiers, you also have two major arcanas that came out here. Um, so we'll get to those ones in a moment. But these double double fives, it's like if you have been feeling stuck lately or feel like things aren't, maybe you're not as ex inspired or your creativity is feeling a little low, uh, you just know that there's a big shift and a transformation that's occurring. And it could be kind of happening behind the scenes. So you may not fully be aware of it right now. But you're definitely going down the right path. You're taking certain certain steps and you're moving, like you're moving forward. The pace is going to begin to pick up quite fast here. Um, now, again, I just feel like there's a kind of a big message here in terms of you guys are going on a new journey. This is a new, fresh start for you. Um, so again, like be careful and be cautious of who you're hanging out with, things that you're watching, things that you're listening to. Uh, this and this is really, I mean, it might have might have been challenging because I feel like you could have maybe left some friends or some families behind that have not been serving the highest good, or you're kind of getting out of that toxic environment where there's always conflict um, and self sabotage. So this is beautiful. You guys are now focusing on moving forward. You're glowing up. This is really beautiful and really positive. And now with that chariot, it's not to say that there's going to be no more hiccups or, or obstacles in the way, but you guys are finally focused and you're determined and you're driven. Like you guys have this drive about you right now. Um, and, you know, don't be afraid to jump into new things and try new experiences because you also, with this um, clarifier here, you have the clarifier, the world over the chariot. So I, this there, there's an end of a karmic cycle and you guys are starting something fresh and brand new because you have the fool here. Um, it could resemble even travel. You guys can be traveling a lot maybe this year or starting new projects, new ventures. It's like you guys are on this new path. So there is gonna be, you know, maybe some trial and errors, learning school you know maybe taking some courses um but this is really beautiful positive energy and you guys are going down the right path and you guys are manifesting and bringing into your reality what you guys truly desire and you guys are you guys are following your heart is what i'm feeling here and you're leaving this this toxic environment and this energy behind you you're not dealing with it you're not associating with it you're just focused on something very particular and you're moving forward with that so that's very beautiful and also having all these major arcanas here there's 
a big message saying that you've come here to learn a very specific lesson during this lifetime and you've learned it. Um, this is signifying you have the world here and, and the wheel. So it's kind of signifying that you will learn from this experience and you under, you have this understanding or this greater knowledge about who you truly are. Uh, and you're, you're moving forward. You're going out there in the world. You're going to maybe share your experiences. I'm feeling too, you could be moving forward with a new line of work you know, with this fool card it's like a whole new lifestyle change for you um which could involve a different career i am getting possibly a spiritual career as well uh maybe helping others get out of this i like it, some kind of a coaching or maybe energy work um, or counseling or something of that matter something that helping others with the energy because i feel like you've gained so much knowledge on this path with this toxic environment you're kind of compelled to go out there and help others as well so beautiful cards, wonderful energy, you know, keep keep at her and, and living in that now. Beautiful cards, group number one. Hello, group number two. Are you guys ready to meet your soulmates? <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I feel like this is going to be a really fast reading because I feel like my breath is taken away. You guys, if you guys haven't met your soulmate yet, you could, they're coming in. Um, you've got to hear the Queen of uh, Queen of Cups and your Oracle's trust. So I feel like the last this last while you've really focused on yourself. Um, you've trusted your intuition. You've made sure you were you came first. You were emotionally supported and loved and you really did some inner work on yourself before going and jumping into another relationship or into a relationship um, because we all know a lot of the times we jump into a relationship to try to fill that void and that at the end of the day that doesn't get us anywhere we need to fully be comfortable love ourselves and feel fulfilled ourselves before we share to cho choose to share that with another person and you have done that. You've done a lot of, I feel like, inner work and a lot of emotion. Like, you're emotionally stable. You're emotionally, um, you're figured out. You know what you want. You've ma been manifesting this. Even if you don't think you have been, you have raised your vibration so high that you are attracting. Like, you are attracting your soulmate here. Um, you have the two of cups in the present and you have a victory in the future here. So for some of you, you guys might have already met this person. If not, I feel like this is coming in really quickly for you. Um, this is your I'm feeling I keep hearing soulmate. So soulmate could be a twin flame connection, very passionate, very fiery, um, and loving. Like you guys are gonna have it all here because look at this. I feel clarifiers. And I can't even make this up. Look at this. You have the Nine of Cups, um, the Ace of Cups, and the Lovers. Like, so much love, so much passion here. Um, I This is going to be the person you are going to marry. And it's interesting because on the bottom of the deck here, we have the Hierophant. And this is like knowing you're going within and you know immediately. Like, your breath is going to be taken away is what it feels like. This is the person you're going to spend your life with. Yeah, you're moving forward with this person and you're going to spend your life with them. Um, and you guys are going to have a successful relationship. It's going to be healthy. Like, that's what I'm getting. A loving, healthy relationship. Um, beautiful. So let's just take a quick look here and see, see kind of, um, maybe, maybe we can get a bit more idea on the timeline. Oh, 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 cards going everywhere here. Okay, we'll take these two. <laughs> Did I not say, okay, if you haven't met this person, you're going to be meeting them pretty darn quick. We have this month and in March and we're, what is the date today? March 16th. What are the chances both of those? That's so crazy. Um, so there you go. You're going to have a very loving, stable relationship coming to pass here. So I am getting though, if you haven't, if you haven't been actively kind of searching or I don't want to say searching, but if you haven't been actively going out there to meet people or maybe try like dating or, or mingling, I do get the feeling like make sure you are kind of going out, maybe go on some dates or it's kind of that, that sense of, you know, if you just sit inside and do nothing, that's not going to, 
they're not going to come knocking on your door, but there's some kind of soul connection where you just are, I don't know if you're out and you just see somebody, you guys lock eyes and it's just this instant, um, instant connection with somebody, but definitely something that's coming really darn quick here. So keep an eye out for that soulmate connection. And it looks like you guys have a beautiful future with them. Hello, group number three. All right. So the big message for you guys is to have some patience. Um, your oracle here is patience and planning. I'm um, like, don't be so hard on yourself. And I mean, everything's an experience. So if something doesn't succeed the first time, keep trying. I mean, it might not even succeed after the 20th time, but don't give up. There's a big message of not giving up here um, because you have the four of cups and also kind of clarified here with the ace of, ace of wands. I feel like with these ones together, I feel like you've kind of lost your passion or your motivation for something specific here. Uh, for some of you guys, I'm getting this could be maybe related to a marriage. Maybe there's a disconnect or there's kind of a loss of passion with the marriage because this was clarified with the Ten of Cups. And this is like a happy home life. Um, so there's definitely a bit of disconnect there. But for some of you, I'm really getting this could be in terms of adventure, like maybe starting a business um, or even I'm getting building a home because we have the four of wands here. But again, this could also be related to your home life as well. And maybe the home life, is, there's there's been a disconnect at home with your partner, maybe your children as well, because you have the ten of cups there. Um, but with it, like I keep hearing with this card, like Rome wasn't built in a day and there's some kind of heartbreak here over something that's taking too long. And that's, I'm, I'm getting with this, uh, King of Pentacles and you had a Queen of Pentacles that fell out on the side here. That's why this could be maybe related to something in terms of the business. You guys could have a family business that's maybe struggling right now, uh, or things are just, there's some blockages and you, it's not going your way. But there's a big message here to, I feel like, first of all, be with this man, magician here. It's like you can manifest anything you truly desire. You just have to have the right frame of mind um, and you have to embody that as well. Like you can manifest this. You're a very powerful manifester. It's just, I feel like there's been a bit of a, if you're in a bit of a rut right now, um, you know, try to focus on some of the positive things it's like changing your mindset is what I'm getting with this one. Um, and you have some wonderful cards in the near future here with a, a magician and and the four of wands. So there will be, I think, a success and, you know, a celebration that you guys have overcome this hurdle and you guys have finally like stepped out of this this disconnected energy, but it might take a little bit of work. And it's just a big message that have some patience, um, you know, have patience and planning. Because something else that was coming to my, um, my mind here is off to the side, I'm seeing that the tower is kind of catching my eye. Like you want with it with this night of you know, the Knight of Pentacles, that's a slower moving energy. And I think that's why that heartbreak card fell out is there's something that's not happening as fast as you want it to. And you're trying to control that. And, you know, sometimes there's certain circumstances that happen and we just have to take them as life lessons. And if you look at them from a positive perspective or a different perspective than you are in this energy, you're going to be able to overcome that and then manifest this happy happy home over here because if you build if you have a foundation and you don't have a proper you know a steady foundation a secure stable foundation it's just going to come crashing down so don't take shortcuts is what i'm hearing you know if it takes extra time to do it the long way that that's what i'm getting just don't take shortcuts because you don't want this to come crashing and burning down um so that's the information i got for you guys for the most part just work work with your manifestations if you guys are into affirmations or things that can help you elevate your frequency elevate your mood um just work on 
maybe getting out of this disconnected energy. And, you know, maybe it's in regards to sitting down with your partner and having that heart to heart or, or with your children, if there's a disconnect there. Um, but again, I'm getting to, this could be possibly partaking in other classes or um, online courses I'm getting, like some kind of learning is coming coming out in this, in this uh, reading as well. So learning to kind of how to create that stable foundation for your home and your and your family. But sending you guys lots of love and light and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.